Hi everyone, I'm in Jamaica. It's, it's good to be back. I've not been here for five years. It's good to sort of come back and see my grandparents again because they are, they're so important to me. Sometimes I feel a bit detached, you know, in the UK and I'm like, I need to call them. They don't have the internet. They don't know what I'm doing. I thought I would come here, show them what I'm doing and also do a bit, of, do some work from here and get inspired really. So um, I'm gonna show you what Jamaica's like. Spanish town in um, where are we in the old the, capital in the old capital I'm here with my cousin Beverly do you want to be on it this is Beverly my cousin and she's been taking me around I'm so grateful for that there's loads of interesting buildings they're a bit derelict at the moment but you know you can see like what they might have been like in the past I'm just in my granddad's garden and it's so cool and there's every kind of fruit that you could imagine. There's mangoes, there's pomegranates, there's coconuts, there's everything. Always sweaty. Oh. So we've got some coconuts down from the tree. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Oh dear, it's running off. Oh no. In the garden with my granddad. <laughs> And we've got coconuts. I'm going to try and hold the coconut and the camera. So I'm going to have some coconuts fresh from the garden. Did I do that? Huh? Yeah, I'm filming. Want me too? Yep. Yeah, you see that? They're fresh, fresh <laughs> from the garden. That is good. My goodness. So, okay. Oh, okay, something's fallen over. Uh -huh. but it's a coconut branch coming down. Okay. Hello. But yes. <laughs> But yeah, so Hello. this is my drink, my afternoon drink. <laughs> Hi. Right, so I'm in Ochi Rios and I'm at Duns River. It's so tropical. It's like whatever you think of when you Google a tropical island, it's basically this. Finally on the beach, yay! So this is me and my granddad. <laughs> and I've not seen him for 17 years. Yeah, so we're here in Mandeville. Yes, you know, it's nice, we're in a park and I just had some KFC yeah. and I'm showing him some of the pictures on my camera and yeah we're just catching up so yeah it's good yeah. I love to catch up huh? yes 17 <laughs> I can't believe it I can't believe it so we stocked up on some food and an intense day of hair braiding awaits it's gonna be a long one So it's Wednesday and we're going off to Montego Bay. I managed to get a good deal on a resort and we're gonna get a coach. So yeah, back to my backpacking routes and it's only about three hours. So, you know, compared to a 16 hour coach ride, it's nothing. When I said that I was going to Jamaica, everyone thought it was just gonna be hotels and glamour and it, it hasn't been, but now, now it is. reading a book for once so I'm trying to work my way through Eat Pray Love. I started it today. I'm on page 78. This is basically paradise. But look it's like lost but not as long. It's gone a bit overcast. It's a bit like England which is typical. I think I was getting a bit too carried away on social media and this is my punishment. We checked out our hotel and we're in the craft markets of Montego Bay. Sorry? Yeah, it's a, we just have a specific thing that we're looking for. So I'll see if anything catches my eye. But I do, you know, I don't like being forced into buying things. So this one is quite nice. I hate to lose my first sale. How much you can afford? 
I'm falling you know, into I'm just going to have a look around. I'm but I know gonna, this I'm is the best one. Be here tomorrow. This is. Saying, my first sale, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. And I'm gonna but you're here today. I'm a Seven Day Adventist. Yeah, I'm here today. But Till was, when? I'm not going to be here tomorrow. At what time do you close today? Like four o'clock. Four o'clock. Well, we'll be we'll be here. We'll still be here. So um, I'm gonna have a think. So you're number forty-four. I'll tell you what. Take it for a thousand. In business, I hate to lose my first seat. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one. Thank you, God bless. Thank you. Sugar cane. He's gonna peel the cane. Have some cane as a snack. So literally just suck on it, and it's very sweet. We've come to Port Royal for a spot of lunch at Gloria's, and I think we're getting some fish. Yeah. Tamika's got a nice dress on. Hello. Are you there? Hopefully. Fish shades. Yay! <laughs> We're in the windiest restaurant ever. Like, I don't know if you can see. Oh, nice. Thanks. Oh my god, look at this. Gosh, it is so windy and my dress keeps blowing up. Taking a little stop. Yeah. What's going on? I see his time. <laughs> I'll be at yours. Yes, yes. So the main shopping I do here is food. All about the food. Guys, I have a Jamaica haul for you. So I've got the Aunt Jemima buttermilk mix. I know you can get this in America, but I'm not there. I'm here. So this is why I'm buying it, and I'm going to make a lot of pancakes. So I got the Kraft mac and cheese. I know it's probably. It's got no nutritional value whatsoever, but I just, I just can't help it. I love it. This is the festival mix. It's a sweet fried dumpling, and I've been eating them like every, every day, pretty much. So yeah, I'm gonna make some of this when I get home. I'm giving about ten of these, and I've got to give them to various members of my family. Plantain chips. I don't know if you've had plantain. It's part of the banana family, and you tend to have it with anything savoury. So you can fry it, boil it, and you can also make it into crisps. So these are very addictive. We're just in Spanish Town Market and I'm vlogging and I've braved this. I'm talking to myself and it's pretty vibrant. And everyone's just shouting. But I just I find markets fascinating. There's just so many colours. So it's my last morning in Jamaica and I'm just looking through some old family photo albums because I, I just love looking at pictures from back in the day. Oh. Hello, Hello. <laughs> this is my nan. Oh, I'm just looking at the photos oh. again. <laughs> They're bold. They're great. I love yeah, them. I love bold. them. And to see, <laughs> it's funny to see my dad as a child. It's almost time for me to go to the airport. I'm pretty much packed. I think my um, luggage is a little bit over. So hopefully they'll be, you know, a bit lenient. I can't believe um, two and a half weeks has gone so quickly. It's very rare that I go away for this long. And I do feel, I feel refreshed. I feel like feel like a new woman. I guess when I arrived, I was a bit like, oh, there's so much going on in England, but I've kind of, kind of put that into another part of my brain. So even though I didn't prepare any posts, you know, as the most rubbish blogger, haven't, you know, put anything on YouTube, I was a bit disorganized. I now feel like I'll go back and have a new kind of focus so I can get stuff done. I think it's good to sometimes just have a proper defined break and then you can come back and think, this is what I'm gonna do. So that's that's how I feel right now. So fingers crossed, I can make it happen. But here, you know, my this year for me has very much been about family, making the most of them and spending time with them. So it's been great to talk to my grandparents and you know find out all these interesting tidbits of information. My granddad, he used to write songs, probably still does. And it's, you know, I, I got a bit emotional because he he could have had a record deal, but he came to England. Um, it would have meant going back to Jamaica and leaving his wife my grandmother and he sort of obviously chose family yeah it was quite emotional like reading through his lyrics and listening to him sing with the, on the guitar if i should keep my fingers crossed would success come my way at last sometimes i think you will decide and please don't say
know, finding out all these things that you wouldn't otherwise know is really fascinating. So I would recommend if you have your grandparents with you now, just make sure you talk to them, find out as much of um, information as you can. I've been asking them, like, who's this person? How are we related to this person? What, what did this person do? What, what did you do when you were younger? Like, how did you meet? I've been asking so many questions because I am fascinated by anything from the past. But yeah, Jamaica, you know, it's a complex country. I know a lot of you would think it's just beaches and relaxation, reggae. But yeah, there's a lot more to it and there's a lot to be sorted out, but you know, it's, it's got a charm. You get used to it. You get used to the way of things being done. Yeah, you can't be in a rush here. Sometimes like we had to wait two hours for someone to get some fish the other day. I have no idea what this is gonna turn out like because it's random. I don't tell you what day it is, but you know, hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll get, you'll get the idea. So I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.